by Teddy Atlas and welcome to Vegas where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much anticipated main event. Here we go, box smart, box smart. So we are underway here, round one, scheduled for 12. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Hey, you gotta get some of that too now, come on, let's go. Oh, what a whiff by Ward. There you go. Teddy, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> and then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Move, move. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Halfway through this round. And he's holding. He missed that uppercut. Downstairs with a right hand. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good counter punch. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. And he just holds on there. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Able to dismiss it. Don't let him get at you. Ward's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Last 10 seconds. Good way to protect the midsection. Ward's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. Here we go. Round two is underway. <gasps> Great movement to get away from those punches. Keep working. Keep working. Now hugging on the inside. Ward's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Well, he ties up there. And he decides to tie up again. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Now that's what we worked on at the gym. Good job, boy. Good job. Oh. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Let's go right there now. Come on now, let me see. Let's go. Hit him. 
blocks that punch. Ward's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good solid overhand left. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but it wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Well, on, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. How about a return to sender with the left hand? A good block. Relax. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Ward's well off the mark that time. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. You see him holding on. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. <laughs> Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Scores well to the head with the right hand. <laughs> Ward's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Move your head. Still not moving enough. Come on now, move. Move. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Ward. Blocks that punch. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Ten seconds to go in this round. And round three comes to an end. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose the war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? 
He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Ward. Grabbing on to his opponent. Jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. Ward's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. No, not at all. And why? Why is he not being effective? Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Look at the way he has to throw them instead of just throwing them. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Good flush shot upstairs. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Back to the body. Wards banged up by a left hand. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Really frustrating his opponent now. Ward's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Right now, more punches, baby. Punches and punches. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Ward. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Now, here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. That's okay. That's all right. now, Teddy, what would you recommend go based on what back. we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Unable to make an impact there by Ward. over but couldn't turn it into a connect halfway into round number five here keep your hands up come on and that's what fighters do pulls the trigger right away after taking one pace yourself pace yourself you're doing good in and out in and out Keep 
Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Nice block by Ward. Ward's putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Watch the hook! Watch the hook! Come on! Not able to land the headshot. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Focus! Focus! Come on, Comes kid, right focus. back at him with the left hand. Focus. Ward's got a way of just getting away from that punch. that headshot reaching the halfway point of round number six let's see some more head movement champ come on jab pop the jab use the jab use the jab i don't jab. like this at all teddy i mean it's one thing to stand toe to toe it's another thing to never even move. You gotta show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls left down, right, everybody left in the world's right. gonna Come know on, that baby. he let himself fall down, he gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Good job, good job, champ. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Let's see some little tits, come on now. Ward's able to avoid that punch. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. We come to the end of this round. And for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Blocks that punch. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Unload right now. More punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. Wow, is he defensively sound? You're not focusing. And he ties up You're on the inside. Focusing. He is not in good okay, shape. Now. He could be on the deck in Shake moments. Off, Come on now, let's go. Shake that off. <gasps> Staying away.
away from those headshots with his defense up top. Nice block by Ward. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Who's the rip? He's working the side. Oh. Oh. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Focus. Focus. Just missed that shot up top. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Here we are in round number eight. A look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see Ward's game plan has been applied to perfection. Yeah, it definitely has. He's been using that jab. You know, he's been taking care of offense, defense, crossing the keys, dotting the eyes. Now all he has to do is make sure he doesn't fall asleep. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's efforts. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got go, hurt go. earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create Still offense again. Enough. Come on, now move! Move! Missed the body shot. The halfway point of round number eight. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Ward's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Ward's really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the will of the wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship.
Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. That's it. Ward's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do. And he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Keep moving, come on now. That's a big right hand there. Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Ward's punch didn't come close. Focus! Focus! Attaboy! Keep swinging, baby! Come on, kid! Focus now! I need you to focus for me! 90 seconds into the ninth round. He missed with that headshot. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. chance last 10 seconds of round nine comes right back at him with a left hand missed the target with that hook teddy you've been on both sides of this before but right now it's the side where you're looking up you're sitting back with a fighter who's coming off of a round where you just clearly say he's losing the fight what do you say to him to get him back in it well you have to tell him the truth you have to tell him that you need a knockout or a big, big round where you have them on the floor a couple of times. That's a good start. And the only way that's going to happen is you got to start taking risks. You got to be more aggressive. Blocks the headshot. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Now he's telling us everything you need to know about what his condition is. We saw him stunned earlier in this fight. Now the clinching. Yeah, this is a true polygraph test for a fighter. He's telling you the truth. I don't feel right. It's up to his opponent now to take advantage of that. We've reached the halfway point of round 10. Punch, 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 that's it. 
not precise at all by Ward. Gage is in the clinch. Keep doing what you're doing. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. Shake it off. Shake it off. It's all right. It's all right. Able to dismiss that body shot. And he returns on that exchange. in prime position to win this fight now, Teddy. I really don't see any other way it could go. Here we are in the 11th round, and for a good string of rounds now, it's been all one-sided. Yeah, it's been one-sided. Something you just touched on. You don't see any other way it could go. And I think that he's convinced his opponent of seeing it that way, that he can't see any other way for it to go. Combo, combo. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark oh, no. there. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Blocks it away. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. Watch the hook. Watch the Able hook. to cover up that gut. Big shot Don't with the left there. hand. Don't give out. Come on, keep fighting. Big shot there. Oh, banged around and down. Joey has some choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave once I'm up? One, two, three, four, five, so he is able to get up to his feet after that <laughs> knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Relax. Come on, now relax. Deep breathe. That's okay. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. Lock there. You're still not moving enough. Come on now, move, move. Proving to be elusive. And round 11 comes to an end. 
Ward's just bubbling over with confidence now. Hey, that happens when you score a knockdown in the last round. Yeah, it does. I mean, there's nothing greater than that. I mean, that's like somebody, that's like your boss coming and say, hey, here's a bonus out of nowhere. You feel pretty darn good. Is our boss coming to do that? <laughs> no, they don't do that. Oh, come on. Okay, we got this one. Last round, and it's yours, okay? Just keep your distance, keep your hands up. And they have reached the 12th and final round. Good looking counter punch. Wards just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. This fight going the distance, hey, we thought it would end early. Here they are, going all the way. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Teddy, he, oh, that's gotta hurt. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's gotta survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Unload right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches, let's see. Let the fist go, let him go. gonna need to dig deep right now because what we're seeing here is a fighter who's fading right in front of our eyes. Oh, he's gonna need a shovel to go that deep. <laughs> Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is he's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use him. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. That was a miss by Ward. Work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Hook, hook, he's wide open for the hook. Yeah, baby, good work, good work. Teddy, who would have ever thought it? Two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that it would go to a decision. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you thought you were going to get a firework display, and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. Ward's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.